This video will cover how to bind your quad with FR Sky receivers to your jumper radio. First, make sure to install the antenna before you power on the unit. Without the antenna, you may damage your radio. Now go to the model setup page and scroll down until you see internal RF. Now select and slide over to FR Sky. Please just ignore that. Now you want to highlight bind but not press on that bind button. For the card we're using today, it has a built-in receiver. So with built-in receiver quads, you want to power on the quad first. So after powering it on, you'll see it indicated there, it says bind on the quad. So you want to press that button. Now once pressed, you'll see the LED light pattern change and that means it's in bind mode. Now after you hit bind on the transmitter, you'll see the LED light pattern changing and you want to turn it off to cycle it through. Now for quads with external receivers as you see here, what you want to do is you want to locate the bind button which is right under there and I'll indicate it with the blue pen here. And you want to hold that in first and then power it on. We're not going to do this for this video because I already have this quad binded to the radio, but you have to push the bind button first and then power on the quad. And also, now you want to scroll down to fail safe mode and switch it to no pulses. Now grab a USB cable. It has to be a data cable and not a charging cable. If it's not a data cable, it will not work properly. And today we'll be using clean flight, but you can also use beta flight, which has basically the same interface. The only reason why I'm using clean flight for this quad is because it has an older firmware on it. And now you want to find the most level surface. This is not a great example in this video, but after you find the most level surface, you want to hit that button on the top left that says calibrate accelerometer. Now we need to ch check the, the stick movements. And as you can see, it's, it's wrong because that's not rule, that's y'all. Now, if you want to learn more about changing the channel mapping, I'll link another video in the descriptions. And now it's correct. Now you want to bring out a piece of paper or you can just use a notepad like me. And you want to find the lowest value and the highest value for each control. And you want to go in order. So roll, pitch, yawn, throttle. I'm just going in order, pulling the stick all the way down or all the way left and all the way up or all the way right. I'm just writing down those values. And now you want to go to the CLI tab. And you want to type in RX range. So now in order, we want to type in RX range 0 to 3. So in the receiver tab, the roll, pitch, yaw, and throttle were in order. And it's going to be the same for these RX ranges.
So just like that, just in order, you want to type in RX range 0, 988, 2011. And now pitch is 1, so you want to hit RX range 1, 988, 2011. RX range 2, 988, 2010. And RX range 3, 988, 2002. And after you're done, you want to type save and hit enter. And it'll just cycle the program through. You want to hit connect again. And now you want to go back to the receiver tab to see if, if all the endpoints are correct. So all the way left, 1,000, 2,000. Yeah, I'm having receiver issues right now. It's, it has nothing to do with the quad or it has to do with everything with the quad. But you can see that all the endpoints are 1,000 and 2,000. And lastly, you want to change the stick load threshold to 1015 and hit save. And now we need to assign the switches. And I'll show you how to do that. Now you need to go back to your radio. And you want to select the mixer tab or the mixer page by hitting page. And you slide over to mixes, not input. If you place anything in input, it's not going to work correctly, or it's not going to work at all, actually. So you want to go to the mixes. You know, highlight channel five. Do not mess with channel one through channel four. After you hit channel five, go to source. And once you click on it, you'll see that the source is blinking. And you want to switch that, you want to move that switch that you want programmed. And after you do it, make sure to press return just in case you might bump another switch and it'll reprogram it to that switch. So after you program it, hit return. Now we're going on to our second switch. We want it on SB, move it around, it's still blinking, hit return, and it's saved. And we're going to program one more switch. I want air mode and flip over crash mode or turtle mode. So I'm going to go to channel 7, hit source. And I want to use the SA switch. So now it's moving in clean flight on the air mode as you can see. And also I want to put flip over crash mode on the same auxiliary channel. So I'm going to match it with air mode, which is auxiliary three, and now it's on the same switch. And lastly, you see that little dot? It needs to be within the slider for that switch to activate. So I want flip over crash mode to activate in that position. And you can move around the slider however you want, but that little dot has to be within that slider. And of course you want to hit save every time you make changes. And I'm going to check the arm and my flight modes. Also with the flight modes, you do not need to program acro because it's defaulted. And lastly, with this quad, just want to go back in and check the propeller direction. And as you can see, it's going outward on the propellers as I'm moving my fingers. Betafuck calls it reversed, and you can see under the mixer, it's already reversed, so it's good. And I want to make some changes in here, so I'm going to change D-Shot 600 to D-Shot 300. And also for the arming, I want to place it to 180 degrees because I'm using turtle mode. And everything else looks good, so I just want to hit save, reboot, and you're done.